All right, guys, so we have a pretty cool truck. This is a 1994 Chevy C1500. It's actually a really cool car and car truck, <laughs> I would say. Old school classic, all right, but she needs quite a bit of love. Uh, the brakes actually went out on it. Um, the owner told me if I can, you know, come by or, you know, if I can check out the car or the truck. But uh, what's going on is basically, um, I don't know how he got here, but, you know, he was still driving it the way it is. It's pretty unsafe, you know, but, uh, you know, just if you're really careful, you know, you can make it to your next destination, you know, if you're going somewhere and if you got stranded, just be really, really careful. But yeah, and you push the pedal, it goes all the way to the floor. All right, so I have to figure out what the problem is. I haven't looked into uh, any issues or that this truck has or this particular symptom. So we're gonna we're gonna have to dig into this. Also, for those of you who are watching my channel and have who have been watching my channel for a long time, thank you so much for all those subscribers, supporters, and uh, all those who donate to my channel. Uh, that really means a lot. Uh, if you want to donate to the channel, the links are going to be down below. All the funds are going to go to saving old school machines. So thank you so much for that. And, uh, you know, as always, I appreciate all of you. And, um, you know, without you guys, this channel would not exist. So thank you so much for that. And we're going to keep saving amazing old school machines. Stay tuned. check out under the hood from what i know is this thing is a v6 which is super cool it's uh pretty i don't know if it's rare but it's kind of rare sign if i can open this hood it's a little needs some lubrication all right but yeah here it is v6 isn't that crazy Awesome. But here's the reservoir. And as you can see, the fluid is low. So I have to see where the leakage is coming from. Interesting, isn't it? But uh, that, yeah, it's. Oh, what is this? Let's see. Oh, brake fluid. That can say a lot of things, I guess. Yep. O Trans oil cooling lines need some attention for sure. But it looks pretty awesome though, and uh, it's amazing machine. Old school Chevy, so classy, I love square bodies. All right, so it's nice to have a tall truck, I guess. Don't have to jack it up, but uh, I've been just looking around, and this is what I noticed right there, guys. It's leaking right there, brake fluid. So that's a big crazy part. This one is not really leaking, but it's gonna probably, I don't know, I'm probably gonna recommend for him to do the entire uh, system, basically all the drum brakes, brake shoes and everything, cylinders. Another thing I noticed is it's pretty severe. It's this brake line right there, it's pretty bad. Yep, pretty crazy. I'm gonna start jacking it up, this wheel, and we're gonna start working on these drum brakes of this amazing truck Chevrolet <laughs> it's raining but we have to get this job done right so I got this chopped up right here a little bit and uh, it's gonna start on that wheel got parts right there and yeah there's a bunch of stuff I got to do to this truck mainly the rear drum brakes and that brake line Look how much space there is here in this bed. That's really cool. I wanted to show you a little more of this truck. Look at that. The dark blue interior. Just needs a little bit of cleanup, but it's super amazing. Still good tires. Be a good idea to fluid film the frame of this truck. Yeah, but it's pretty clean actually for the most part. West Coast, baby. Washington State. Hell yeah. Alright, first thing to make sure is that the parking brake is disengaged. So I have to check that. Let's see, make sure. Yep, it's disengaged. Carefully. Yep. 
205,000 miles. I don't know if it's if the odometer is working or not, but let's get to this thing. I'm gonna use PB Blaster. It's gonna be really helpful. I'm gonna have to soak this cylinder too. I'm gonna be changing that. Change everything at once. Do all of that proper brake drum job. So I can turn it. It's almost like it's a little bit too tight. So, other than that leak, everything was working properly before that happened. Just gonna, I already started prying this thing just carefully out. You know, and just be careful, don't bend the backing plate, you know, just do it carefully. It's almost out. There it is. The drum is off. Everything looks saturated here in a while. Let's see if there's any leakage going from this guy. Pretty sure there's gonna be something. Uh, this looks to me, appears to be dry. Just a lot of brake dust accumulation. So yeah, be sure to clean this area really well. I don't have a brake cleaner with me because I forgot it. <laughs> So I'm going to be using the interior upholster cleaner to clean my brakes right now. What a loser. As far as the brake shoes, they were getting there. They were getting pretty thin, actually. So good idea we're doing this. And before you start taking anything off, take a bunch of pictures of how it looks. That way you won't be confused later on. Yeah. But I'm going to probably start taking one of these springs out. And uh, yeah, I'm going to make this thing good. New parts are waiting. I've got the drums in there. I've got shoes in here. All right, wheel cylinders. I've got the hardware as well. So let's get to this. I'm also gonna paint these new drums and I decided to go with this gray color. It doesn't really matter as long as it looks really nice. It's gonna prevent rust and whatever else. Good stuff. Like I promised, I'm gonna use the interior cleaner to clean all of this area. <laughs> Look at that, some dirt is coming off, that's good. I gotta tell you, interior cleanup, interior cleaner, I mean, uh, is really capable of cleaning brake parts. It's pretty amazing. All right, so I have to charge up my battery, but started replacing all of this stuff already. So I realized um, some of the hardware, unfortunately, is not the same. Those hold down springs are the same, so I'm going to use them, but the majority of the other springs are not the same. But uh, most of them look in pretty decent shape, so I'm just going to clean them up and reuse them. And already connected a new wheel cylinder right, with the line. Yeah, it's going to have nice new parts. And uh, I'm going to sand some of this stuff off and put lubricant right here on grease, these three points. All right, sanded these areas down. I'm about to put grease right here, these six spots. All right, most of the stuff is back together here. As you can see, um, I'm gonna have to adjust them, but I also need to put grease in the bot on the back because I like to install these shoes first and then I kind of move them out a little bit like this and then I put grease. Otherwise, everything's gonna be greasy if you first put the grease. I like to do it this way. Alrighty guys, everything is reinstalled. All the springs, like I said, I just had to reuse this, these springs, but I cleaned them up and made them nice and everything. But these are brand new. I hear the hold down springs. New cylinder, new shoes, everything is looped up. 
Yeah, I actually used this uh, brush to get to the back and lube, lube up all those points. Yeah, so that's amazing. And then just make sure that everything moves nicely here. Okay, yeah, and now we're gonna get to kind of adjusting these shoes and have my tool here. I'm gonna sp start spreading these apart and I have the drum right there ready to be installed. All right, so the next step is I have to loosen this line and replace it. It goes all the way there. And there's another junction connection right there. So yeah, I have to undo that. But yeah, I'm working with these retainers, just cleaning these bolts, soaking them from the other side. You know, this line is super corroded. Rusty, no good. All right, finally installed the drum, so. The adjustment might take a little while, but you know, there, there it is. That's one side. Yeah, you don't want to make it too loose. There's an adjuster, so you have to play with it. You know, yeah, don't let it, uh, don't make it like, too loose. So, if you can't install the drum, obviously you have to adjust it. So you have to, you know, make the space between the shoes smaller, so you can. A lot of people now would be. Ooh. It's raining, I gotta go home. I can't be outside, I'm too scared of the rain and everything. And here I am, you know, working on these cars no matter what, you know. So, yeah, I'm almost done with this side. I just need to reinstall, actually remove and replace that brake line, the rusty one. And then, then after that, we'll move on to the other side. All right, so now I'm under this truck and trying to loosen this fitting right there so i'm actually decided to loosen this line which this line is actually in good condition and this line that goes to the back right there connected the differential is bad it's all rusted so yeah just put some cardboard there and uh vice grip i'm holding this union right there and then loosening that with the line wrench yeah it's a bit of a pain but gotta change this line also i think i noticed this U joint. I don't know if that's. I don't think that's normal. However, I don't really like the that it has this play. Yeah. Hmm. We got this loose. That's what it means to clean the threads on the backside. If you can get to them. And some PV blaster action. No heat required. Let's see how that bolt is gonna be. That one is coming out too. All right, so there it is. Rusted outline. And uh, I'm just gonna transfer this union to the new one. So there's the old line, pretty bad. So this is the closest link that I got. All right, and uh, it's copper. It's gonna be a lot easier to bend too. Yeah, I'm gonna start bending it, and yeah, this is gonna be the line, new line. All right, guys. So I made a really crazy rookie mistake. I don't know how that happened, but I'm gonna have to go to back to the store and exchange this line for another one. All right. So what happened is, uh, as you can see, this I started bending the line. But I didn't make sure that the nut or this you know, fitting is all the way at the end, just like this one. Starting to do this side, and then I'll have to just finish up the line and bleeding tomorrow. And this truck I should be back on the road. All right, this is where the this side looks like. This is all the problematic side, leaking brake fluid right here from this wheel cylinder saturated all the brake shoes and everything and brake shoes like i said they're not you know the greatest because if we compare them with new ones this is the difference it's crazy all right so i think what happened here the reason why it started leaking is because the brake shoes uh, were really low on uh, you know meat and as you can see it's really low on the material so then these pistons they kept pushing out pushing out pushing out okay and then that's what happened eventually it's just blew out because pistons can travel just you know not 
not that far, you know. So once these wear like this, it's yeah. You have to really watch your brake shoe. I gotta tell you that the tough stuff that doesn't just work great for the interior, it works great for cleaning all the stuff too. It's pretty amazing. Alright, same like with the other side, I'm gonna install the AC Delco wheel cylinder. Okay, everything here is cleaned up as you can see. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna put some grease here too. I'm getting this side wrapped up. It's already getting dark, but I gotta finish this uh, side. And I got new cylinder and uh, about to start attaching all this hardware and already cleaned up all the springs and everything that I'll be reusing so good stuff all right guys I'm done replacing everything on this side as well okay looped up all six points everywhere everything is nice and good yeah amazing All right, it's the next day, so I have to go back to the store and get another line because, eh, so when I started bending that other line, I forgot about the nut portion or the bolt and it stayed in the middle. I started bending it and the nut was still, the bolt was still here. So yeah, it was a fail. So, but I could pick this one up and I'm gonna install this guy instead of that one, a rusty one. So I'm just trying to kind of make, make it as close as possible here. To what the factory one looks like all right so i got this line installed it goes all the way there so i made sure that it's not rubbing anywhere on the frame there's still clearance here so that's good everywhere there is good too so yeah everything is tightened up it's good stuff all right, let's start adding fluid We lost a lot, actually. I'm gonna have to bleed. I'm gonna have to probably bleed the master cylinder too because it it ran dry. All right, I'm bleeding the brakes now. All right, I'll do this uh, other side later. Just fluid. It's pretty nasty. Also checked for leaks, those connections, no leakage, that's good. All right, so bleeding the brakes on the, here on the right rear now. Nasty fluid coming out. Yep. That side is basically good to go. Just gotta clean the brake fluid though. It's spilled out. All right, now I'm carefully bleeding the master so I have the trash bag here. And so uh, I'm learning to do it by myself with using a stick, I'm pushing the pedal and then holding it with a stick. Yeah. I hold it. guys we're gonna go ahead and test drive this amazing machine this truck and uh we're gonna see how the brakes are all right yeah what an amazing machine beautiful sunset as well here in pacific northwest and yeah i'm about to test these brakes Ooh, feels really good yeah the pedal uh pedal feels super like not stiff but like firm just the way it's supposed to be that's awesome all right after running driving for a while everything looks amazing here no leakage of any sort 
All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to donate to the channel to save amazing old school machines. See you in the next one.